I'm Sheriff Bill Gore, and I'm asking you to join me and every member of the law enforcement and San Diego communities to protect our residents and the nation from terrorism. The daily headlines and the 10-year anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attack are constant reminders of the devastation that terrorists can cause. Local law enforcement is working in coordination with the Department of Homeland Security's campaign called If You See Something, Say Something. Recognizing that we all play a part in spotting the signs of possible terrorist attack by being aware of our surroundings and reporting suspicious activities. Did you know that there are eight signs you should be aware of? Signs that indicate terrorists may be at work? This video will tell you what to look for. Suspicious activities should be reported to local law enforcement or call 911 if you think there's an imminent danger. You can also make a report by visiting sdlecc.org, the website of the San Diego Law Enforcement Coordination Center. Thank you for your commitment. Residents and visitors are drawn to San Diego for its beauty and diversity. But some of the things that make our region such a great place to live can also put us at risk. We're home to a large military community, an international airport, a busy port, and many venues where large crowds gather. That's why we all need to know the eight warning signs of terrorism, signs of suspicious and potentially dangerous activities. Terrorists may conduct surveillance to determine a target's strengths and weaknesses. Be aware of somebody who appears to be monitoring security personnel or equipment or gauging emergency response time. Suspicious activities could include using vision enhancing devices, acquiring floor plans or blueprints, and showing interest in security and access to facilities. A terrorist may try to gain information about the operations and security of a potential target, possibly an important place such as a power plant, stadium, or school. It could be gathered many ways, by phone, email, in person, or even by gaining employment at the location. Someone may use different methods to test security, such as trespassing into a restricted area or leaving a bag unattended in a public place to see how long it takes for people or security to respond. Terrorists need to raise money for their operations and spend it in a way that doesn't draw attention. This could be done many ways, through illegal sales of drugs, counterfeit merchandise, even baby formula and phone cards. Terrorists may also funnel money from legitimate businesses or nonprofit organizations. Be aware of unusually large transactions paid with cash or gift cards, or someone soliciting a donation for a charity you've never heard of. To conduct an attack, terrorists may need a variety of supplies, such as weapons, transportation, and communication systems. Suspicious activities could include a vehicle left in an unusual place, stockpiling fertilizers, weapons, even one-time use cell phones, acquiring or stealing uniforms, and forging personal identification or passports. Terrorists may impersonate law enforcement officers, mail carriers, or company employees to gain information. Someone who seems suspicious in what they say or do on the job could be a red flag. Terrorists often rehearse a planned attack possibly several times to make sure their operation runs smoothly. This may include measuring response time by emergency responders and possibly using police radios. This is when terrorists are putting their plans into place, getting into position, moving equipment and supplies, and launching an attack. If you believe there is imminent danger, call 911 immediately. 
I'm Keith Slaughter, Special Agent in Charge of the FBI San Diego Division. While these are the eight signs commonly recognized by security experts, it's also important to trust your instincts while being mindful of the civil rights of others. The focus is suspicious behavior. Factors such as race, ethnicity, national origin, or religious affiliation alone are not suspicious. To report something, contact local law enforcement or call 911 if there's a serious danger. You can also visit sdlecc.org. Together, we can protect our community and our country.